back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Sonoka 19. Okay, so uh, this this is new, folks. Look here, we, we it's pulling it pretty good. If I can just keep things lined up, oh, that that'll be all right. I missed some, so no biggie. This tractor does it's got the power to pull it, but it's like picking up the front end, the back end, or something. It just yeah. But anyway, today. I hope y'all doing okay, folks. Today, we are selling the straw. I know in the last episode, I said I would have it all done, but, well, things things happen, you know? You got sidetracked, and I'm like, hmm, soil sampling needs to be done. So, as you can see, the ST Max 180 has reached its overload point. He, he, he's over there. Must be over here. Oops. Alright, what I'm going to do is we can go jump into that. Get this guy here lined back up. She is about like that, hopefully. Go ahead and shut the motor off. Um, yeah, folks. How y'all doing? It's the same day. It's Saturday evening. I recorded the first episode uh, Saturday evening, and it's still Saturday evening. And uh, yeah, I gotta stop the driver on this. There we go. Put the pedal to the metal. Now I got the option, as you can see on the the top left up there at the very bottom. Left, well, you can see it now a little bit better. It says nine thousand unknown. I can hit the J button and change that, but I don't think it would be fair. Um, but then again, it might be. I, I don't know. Um, I say that a lot, don't I? Hmm. Home. These wind rolls are probably going to go pretty quick. That's why I should have it there. Keep it on. Just raise it up. Turn PTO on and off might give us a little problem. There we go. Now let's see if this thing can pick it up. I know it picks up more to the left of the tractor than anything, so I need to keep my wheel right on this side. And I really need to get rid of that too. Uh, this right here. So y'all can see. Oh yeah, one through, and I'm just about full. But I do have a worker. Uh, can't find Boo anywhere, I guess. She got mad or something. I don't know. I was going to pay her. In fact, I did pay her. I might be why she left. She went to spend the money. Yeah, I don't know, folks. I'm just coming up with things off the top of my head. All right, there we go. We're full. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get, uh, I had to put it on um, this in here, grain transport, load it, start, for it to unload the straw. Um, I'm going to start at the nearest point, which should be that one right there. And uh, we'll let him go, and we're going to go, or her. Um, By the way, we owe a hundred thirty thousand now. I took out extra thirty so we can get the wind roller. And I want to show y'all this here: Bill fourteen soil sample taken. And uh, when we get all the grass, I mean straw off of nineteen, we're gonna take some more soil samples. Which got the soil sampler machine. Well, let me click on it. Turn over here, look at it real quick. I did park the combine under the shed. But yeah, this soil sampling machine, it's got like seven samples inside of that. And uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get these windrows done so we can uh, be done when uh, whoever that is. Who, who is that? I don't give a name. But we're going to say 
Colin Julian Boggs, he, he, he's taking that off, of course. Start the engine back, I know that. Start the PTO. Alright, you gotta be careful on the turns. That's where this thing gets a little squirrely. But folks, I, I had to go ahead and buy this. I know we're down to 9,000. Got 130,000 to pay back. And, uh, here we go. Be right back. Alright, I am back again. Hopefully no more phone calls. That was somebody else that time. How did you leave that little one there? Alright, I know I don't own this field. I can't mow that section. I see that right now. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. See if I can get over just a tiny bit here and maybe I can get all this and one thing when I come back down this way. But folks, don't forget, I have some links down below in the description. Uh, got the can crusher and I have the camera light. Uh, I've got quite a few clicks on it, but ain't nobody bought nothing yet, which that's fine. You know, I, I can understand the way the world is now. It's hard to purchase things, but if by some chance you can purchase something, Use my links if you don't mind. Go down there. Like say, oh, Mr. Blue, I don't want the light or the can crush. That's fine. Just go through the link and buy what you want to buy. Yeah, that's right. If, if you buy the light or the can crusher from me, then, you know, I'll get more for it. You know, it don't cost y'all nothing. It just helps me out a lot. But uh, if you don't buy the can crusher or the uh, light, going through that link will still help me, even though if you go in there and buy some diapers. That's right, folks. You buy some diapers off of Amazon or, or some kind of clothing or just anything. As long as you go through that link, it'll work. I wish I had a link that, you know, just wasn't for the can crusher or anything. It just, you know, takes you straight to Amazon. It'd be a whole lot better there, but even if you don't buy the two items, you can buy something else. It'll still help me out. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I got like 27 clicks in January, and in February I done got like 10 or some odd so. So I'm going to shut this all folded up. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Mark, why that's floating. Oh man, he done dumped. I was gonna get it when he was dumping, but that's where he dumps at. Alright, that means we gotta hurry up. But one good thing is that's all done now. So all he's gotta do is pick that up. So what we're gonna do is put this under the shed. And we're gonna hook back up to the soil sampler and sample with what is over there. I think we're going to go ahead and send them off. Hopefully we got the money. And I'm not going to put this tractor on the uh, I don't know. It might pull that. I don't know. You know what? I, I think that's what we're going to do. But this, we're going to take our soil samples first. But we're going to cut some trees down also. And we're going to do a lot of things. That it's, I don't know if it's going to be this episode or not. Because we're already about halfway in. So, yeah. But what we'll do is go ahead and hook up. And I want to send the samples in. Just the, this tractor does not want to back up for it. Alright, and here we go. Soil samples stuck in seven. And I see here. Dirty tire tracks. Take soil sample. Unfold soil samples. Send soil samples for. Uh, we're going to hit Y. Soil samples are now sent to laboratory for 
and I love this. Ah, I can't say that right. You will see the results on the soil types map soon. Okay. Oh, we still got $10,319. Alright, where's our guy at? Oh, he's still got a little ways to come back, so. I'm gonna catch him when he gets back. He'll go over here. Trying to sneak a jump cut in there. I don't know if it will work right or not, but anyway, what we do, that might be too far away. We're gonna come in here and unfold, which just opens up. $700 soil sample. Ooh, $700 for, so it's $100 a piece. All right, then we want to lower it. And as you can see on our mini map right there, we got the little icon or, or circle I should say so I'm gonna zoom out this is, well not zoom out scoot over about right there and then you can see how much of an area we've got I wish GPS GPS would be perfect for this but anyway uh, take soil sample is left bumper and X so Try to see if y'all can see this here. Let me zoom in the first time. Oop, our tractor's back. All right, we're gonna take this in here. Take. It tight. There it goes. Lower it down a little bit. Thing goes down. A little pan fills up the dirt. So sample tucking, and it turns it. And it turns it to a brownish color. Uh, silty clay is what we got on 14. Okay. Okay, we're gonna shut this off. I gotta go over here. And we're gonna stop driver. And then we're gonna go on over here. So we can get a little bit more of this done. And folks, I, I, again, I want to appreciate all your love and support for me. I'm about to hit that 600 mark again. I was at 5.99, and then all of a sudden, bam! I'm back to down to 5.97. So I'm like, oh, well, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I want to do a live stream on this map here, but. I'm not going to do a live stream until we get 600. Uh, that's my goal, folks. I, I'm just, I'm like, when we reach like 604 or 605, when I know it won't go back down below 600, I, I, I'm going to start doing, oh, I know I don't have access to that land. I want this land. I'm going to start doing live streams. I'm thinking every... Oh, wow, that was full quick. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to upgrade this. Uh, drive course. Uh, Colin, you, you be careful. All right, we're going to go over here and take our... Man, this tractor is just a little bitty tractor. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Armor track on our track anyway we got our first sample we're gonna get some more real quick all you do is just pull up I'm gonna do about right here it starts flashing on the map there fills the little pan up when it stops flashing, it raises up, and you can go. I'm going to try and see if I can make our way to the end here. Not quite going to work. I'm going to have a little indention there. But hey, this is the third sample, right? Yep, good. I'm 
go over this way. we'll find out trying to watch for him when he gets up there village grain elevator is where he's taking it it wouldn't take at the barn here I don't know why and that's what the yield looked like when I was doing the wheat of course I was halfway across when I added this on and uh, pH that nitrogen is that yeah so that's what it looks like all right that done pretty good job there so that should have been four yeah that was four going up this way and see how much ground we can cover I think we can do it even though straws laying in there I'm going to back up a little bit. Now I got... Oh, people are so crazy. I mean, it is like 10 degrees outside and people are running up and down the streets and it's like, yeah, it's 7.30 at night. And the reason why I know is because I see them on camera. All right, so probably going to be about nine samples, what it looks like. And I'm like Mr. Peanut. I don't know if it, the, out of the grass area there is going to take a sample or not when we plow, make it a little bit larger, so I don't really know. All right, we're, we're going to... Alright, there's the other sample. I should have shut the motor off, but I want y'all to see this part real quick. I'm gonna close this out. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and hop out of the vehicle and let Colin do his job here. And get over here on this side. Yeah, I think we was getting seven hundred dollars per load or something like that. The uh, straw is uh, seven hundred and sixty-eight dollars and ninety-six cents, which is four four hundred and fifty-seven dollars. Okay, and see up here we get a lot more for it. But it don't sell at the Bell Barn. I can't get it to take. So, yeah. And I can't wait to get this thing operational. Oh, oops. I moved it while I wasn't running. Alright. Um, I guess we can go ahead and take some. It would be legit, you know, taking soil samples while the drones you wasn't doing it over the straw. It should be all right, so. And let's get about right here. Should cover it. Maybe a little bit further. Either way it goes, it's probably still going to be nine. About right there. Lower that back down. And go ahead. And going down there. Swapping the third out in the pan, raises up, and that's the sample token. I'm glad I went ahead and bought it because, you know, we probably won't ever use it again until we get some more fields, but hey, it's ours to use. Maybe it can help other people out too. I'm going to try to get all this into one here. That looks about covered. 
that way it'll be 800 instead of 900. Okay, I'm going to fold that baby up and our camera zooms back out. And I really, I think I'm going to put this in the maintenance shed up here. That way maybe it won't get bothered as much. Hopefully. Mm, let's put it right here where all these cones are at. Turning radius on this tractor is not very good at all. Alright, detach. Alright, let's, let's see if we can customize this thing here. Probably can't, but wouldn't hurt to try. Nope, no customize. I can sell it, but why would we want to do that? We can use it, make us some money. All right, we're about 21 minutes in. Let's see, what can we do? We need a fertilizer, but I don't have a fertilizer buggy. So, I think what I'll do is hook up to this and try to make enough money, pay the bank back some, and get us a, a fertilizer rig some, somewhat. Yeah, you can still work it with that on it. Okay. And, uh, fashion tits and belts. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm on a cut. Hmm. Uh, hey, let me just park this right here. And hey, what well, do you know? Straight to them. We'll go ahead and stop driver. And right there is where he's supposed to stop at. But and we're going to go ahead and get this right here picked up. We're probably just going to drop these two trees right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a little rough. Man, always missing. Looking at the trees, wasn't paying attention where I was going. Probably be full time we get to the end anyway. It's not making us much money with the straw, but yeah, we're full. Okay, uh, drive course. Please be on that. Should be. Back to this guy. Oh, wait. I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if this thing will pick that up all the way. My guess is as good as yours. But we'll see. I'm going to park the tractor right here for temporary. Oops, I'm knocking things over with the controller. Alright. Oh, we don't have a saw. We're going to have to magically buy one. Um, good thing we ain't out of money yet. Let's see here. It's, they're all the same, but I like this one for some reason. $1,000. Ooh, wee. A lot of money for a chainsaw. Right, I kind of want it to go that way, so hopefully, hopefully, I am using the new Lumberjack mod, so let's see what we got here.
Ahí. Oh, way up there. Here we go. We say timber. Kids don't do this at home. Adults only do it if you're somewhat trained. Somewhat. Okay. We're gonna have a lot of limbs here to, to uh, trim up. There we go. Is that poplar? That's what it's saying over there. Wow, I didn't know poplars get this big. Well, it does trim them better than what it did in uh, 15. There we go. Got that nowhere. One here somewhere. There we go. Ow. That hurt. I don't want to cut it off yet. I just want to get it trimmed. Come on. Where you at? I know you're there somewhere. Yeah. Cutting trees is a fun job, ain't it? And we're almost... Oh, we're, we're at 30 minute mark. Oh my. I am so sorry, folks. I was going to keep this about 20 minutes. So I guess I'm going to get off here. Um, $457. He didn't make a, that load there. So uh, $457. And there's about two and a half loads left. So we'll get maybe 10000 again. And uh, next time we come back, we'll have a couple of these cut up, hopefully. And uh, we're going to sell them. I have no idea where this one is. Unless it's over here. Aha, got that. But yeah, I'm going to get some of this uh, cleaned up, folks, and put on the trailer. And probably start down there at the sawmill. That way y'all don't have to take that long drive. I gotta find that. It's getting on my nerves. But anyway, um, I hope y'all enjoyed uh, Sonoka. And uh, yeah, so let me know down below in the comments if you liked it or not. And, and uh, we'll... See how far we go on this. So, the more y'all like it, the more we'll do some more recording on it. All right, folks, I'm gonna get off here. So, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see you in the next episode. Woohoo! Later.